Okay, so here we are back again after having cleared a bit more bush from around the trucks and vehicles and drills. It's cleared up pretty good here now. Came a long ways in a short amount of time. There's one of the many dozens of contractors working here today so hard to get this done. Very hard working guy. I think he's from the Philippines or something, I'm not 100% sure. So we have a better view. We can see more of the treasures. And wander around the back here where we couldn't get before because it was too bushed in. An old drill. Some sort of, I don't know if this would be a Chapman mini drill or what it was all about. Minus the motor. Big belt drive, used to have a Detroit in it. Hammer. Open cab. Nasty in all conditions, dusty in the summer, hot, phenomenally ugly in the uh, winter. Uh, so see, the front of the cab's all bashed here from uh, so drill mobile. Yeah, I'm thinking Chapman. The rest of this is all that's all bashed up. So a Chapman something or other drill mobile. Certainly better than nothing, but hard way to get drilling done as far as the operator goes, that's for sure. No cab to break the noise. There's your giant compressor right behind your head. Don't see any sign of a bulkhead. Anything to keep the noise from you. There's your lovely operator seat. Basic controls. Chapman Industries. Roll over protection structure. Some of these chainsaw chains. Probably in uh, some point, it's probably uh, something John Bodnarak would have ran. A button bit on a small steel. here. Jump up inside here. Try her out. Yeah, no, she's dead as a door now. I think we're going to need to call the auto club. Yeah, she's all ready to go. A couple hours and uh, have her all, all good to go, all ready to put her back to work. Better 
cleared out. She's almost like a park here today. Do a little bit of work every time we come back. Get her cleared up better and better. Classic, this one. Giant dump box on it. It's got a tailgate. We were around the back there earlier when we were bushwhacking. It's got a tailgate on her. We'll get some chrome tips for these uh, stacks here. Dress that right up. Should be fine. Fuel tank in the back. Could be water. Could be water for uh, firefighting or whatever the case may be. Selection of drills. This is kind of a repeat of the last video, except now, like I say, we've got more trees cleared out of the way. When we first got here, it was so bushed in. I thought, ah, oh, man, we're never going to make it today to get anything worth taking a picture. But here we are. It's probably, by the time we start taking still pictures, it'll be about four hours of bushwhacking. Don't know what that is yet. Something that was on tracks. Something big and heavy. Figure that one out at some point in the future. Do a 
just drill down the drills here again, even though it's not too much has changed in the drill department as far as brush cleaning goes, but we'll head down this way anyway. Kind of unique on the tracks here. A bit different. There's uh, that's the usual kind of pattern, usual kind of setup. Uh, these guys are a little bit different. Different idea. Counting little bits of stuff down the back here. Everybody's got their spare parts and goodies. Always, there's always something behind the seat in the logging machine, whether it's a pickup truck or an excavator. There's always stuff stashed away. This is interesting having this big ass light on here. You don't usually see a whole bunch of lighting on drill rigs. I kind of like it myself because when you're, especially when you're moving in the winter time, early in the morning and late in the day, it's dark. Yeah, it's nice to have light so you can see what the heck's going on. Every once in a while, if you're working late, trying to get a quarry done or whatever, it's nice to have some lights so you can see a little bit of what's going on. So you don't have to guess. It. Another drill broke down somewhere, and they said, I know where there's a hammer, and they came over and stole it off of this one. For some reason, they got the fuel tank right on the back here. Somebody's bright idea for uh, balance, weight on the back, something like that. Don't know. Everybody's got their own unique idea. Interesting frame there. Parts here are gold for somebody who's still running a tank drill. They still have their purpose. They're cheap to buy. Nowhere near as fast as the hydraulics. Nowhere near, but you know what? If you got a little bit of rock to get rid of and uh, you want to sit in the cab while you're doing it, perfectly good way to do it. As long as you got somebody there to help you fix it. There. They are fussy. Drive lines are fussy. They can be problematic. Okay, so I'm going to leave with that. I'm going to go into still picture mode. And uh, we're going to go to another site on the property and go chase after a really another really interesting logging truck. So I'm going to take still pictures in here and then go dig into another site that we have to bushwhack right into. So, love you all. See you later.